a teenager goes to his dad and he says, Dad, can you tell me what the difference is between a numerator and a denominator? And the dad says, well, sure, it's just a short line. But you know what? Only a fraction of the people know that. Oh, my God, that's awful. Scripture today, starting at verse 24 of chapter 8, and this will be the last Beatitudes uh, devotion you're going to have from me for a while. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, but it did not fall because it was founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Over the years, I've heard sermons about this in terms of uh, financial, building a financial secure future and all that. But I don't want to talk about that today. What I want to talk about is how you and I need to build our faith based on the rock. The rock is Jesus. The stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. That's in 1 Peter 2, 4 through 10. We are dependent upon the power of Almighty God to help us and secure us, especially in these kinds of times. We're not left alone. We're not bereft. We're not naked. We're not hungry. We simply are going through a trial that is rather nasty. And I would ask you, each of you and myself to see if we can just hold firm to the faith, believe that tomorrow is going to be better, we will get through this, and the world is still a good place to be. God bless you. Let's pray together. Almighty God, hear our prayers this day, our prayers to build our house upon you, the strength of of the ages, the law, and the prophets. Sustain us and deliver us and help us to hold on. Help us to hold on to thee in ways that we might never have thought we needed it before, and now we need it desperately. In Jesus' name and the Spirit's grace, we ask this. Amen. We are going to get through this. God bless you.